next guest is a proud product of the Bronx and a talented pod and broadcaster who is hosting the Bronx Defenders 25th Anniversary Gala here in New York on October 13th. Please welcome Jesus Nice. Tell you something, I've been here almost all week. You're the first guest to bring me a pizza. Thank you. Because I have culture, Jimmy. <laughs> Listen, I saw the little spat you just had, and you're both wrong. The best pizza I've had recently comes from Cuts and Slices. Is that right? Yes. Wow. Now, if you've never had it, I the reason is so great. I'm Jamaican. Okay. And it, it comes, it, you know, it takes, you know, bop, 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 bop. <laughs> and so this pizza encapsulates both cultures, because it's not only Italian, we have one of the greatest parts of Jamaican culture. We got oxtail. <laughs> oxtail. Have you ever wow. had oxtail? I have had oxtail many times, yeah. yeah. Not on a pizza, though. OK. My parents don't eat this because this is too decadent, all right? This is that is, right? Yeah, this is right here. You eat this, the ancestors look down at you like you're wasteful. So. <laughs> is that true? What would your parents make at your house while I um, tr try this? OK. Yeah, well, growing up, we never had pizza. We never had tacos. We really? never had spaghetti. We'd have, like, cassava. Like. After a long day of running around at school, you don't want yak. You know, you don't want like the hard yams. <laughs> is so, that what the cassava yes. is? Yeah. So I remember one time I got in trouble because I asked for pizza, and they looked at me like we didn't risk our lives coming from Jamaica so you could eat pizza. <laughs> I was like, you're <laughs> that's right. That's weird. If you're gonna take a scam, that seems like the wrong one. How's it taste? It's actually really good. Really good right? Yeah, it's very good. Yes. Thank you. You sort of hit him up. The whole pie. Listen. Guillermo, you want one? Yeah, sure. All right, you take one. Yeah, but I'm going to Hey, how are you, man? How you doing? Wait a minute, man. Just so we don't have it in front of hey, us the whole right. time. All right, very good. Well, thank you for the pizza. I'm sorry you didn't get any, Jesus. Oh. You, um... <laughs> do, I would imagine, though, this could potentially cause a, an outburst of anger from people hearing... I mean, because people are very specific about what is allowed on pizza... Absolutely. ...and what is not. Yes, yeah, so if you see how people react to pineapple on pizza, yeah. oxtail is even worse because we have to protect oxtail right now. We have to gatekeep it. It's becoming way too expensive. Y'all know what I'm talking about. So... It's the tail of the cow. They it's the tail. Ox, but it's, a, it's not really an ox. You want to culture it up a little bit. You can't sell cow tail at Whole Foods. Yeah, cow tail doesn't sound good. So, you know, it's <laughs> just like... It's such a good thing. And I took a picture of this slice and I put it on Twitter. It went viral. It had like something like 12,700 likes. But some of the people on it were just like, no, that's a waste of food. What's wrong with you Americans? That's disgusting. If you guys eat that, there won't be any left for me. You know, a lot, a lot of different right. yeah. opinions on it. Yeah, people get really upset about the dumbest things possible. <laughs> you, uh, what did your parents do for work when they came here? Okay, when my parents came here, my father was a landlord and my mother was a librarian. And so what she would do, she'd bring books home from the library, like that, before they would throw them out. And as a kid, I thought that was cool, but bringing extra books to school was very nerdy. So yeah, it wasn't the it wasn't the flex I thought it was. <laughs> <laughs> so you'd get you'd have a lot of books, and then you would bring them to school. Yeah, with you. yeah. And you'd bring them to school, be like, hey, check this out, check this out. But then I figured out that the National Geographic showed breasts, and oh, that yeah. changed everything about my friends. They did. Yeah. You would get those. Your mom would bring those home for yeah, you. Yeah, she was like, you really you really want to know about Africa? I was like, yes. Yes, I do. <laughs> it was a weird thing. I remember that so vividly. Yes. You'd look, and it was always, for some reason, kind of in the back of the National Geographic, yeah, but right? They, you know, it's just like, you know, you take it into the bathroom, people start knocking on the door, like, I'm studying. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> you, um, you started your television career at MTV, right? Yes, sir. Was that your first, like, job, or did you have work before that? No. I'm Jamaican again, and I've had <laughs> every possible job you can have in New York City. My first job, I collected dead rats at a car dealership. You collected them? Well, I mean, I picked them up. Like, I, I see. <laughs> Why were they were Pokemon? Why were there dead rats at a because car dealership? Because the exterminator came the week before and put poison all over the car dealership. So then my job was after they ate the rat poison and died, I had to use my nose. It always knows to find the dead rats. So I put, like, Vicks Vapor Rub right here, and I had a compound bucket and a shovel, and I'd fill the bucket with the rats and then put them in the barrel with the used motor oil. Why in the barrel with the used motor oil? I'm supposed to get a whole brand new garbage bag for this? Come on. <laughs> oh, my God. We're trying to be green, Jimmy. <laughs> I see. You're a big Knicks fan, right? Huge Knicks fan. I'm curious about this, because I didn't know about this until I got here. 
Um, Mayor Adams has mm -hmm. said he's open to the idea of moving Madison Square Garden, which I wonder, uh, would people be upset if you moved Madison, if you rebuilt Madison Square Garden? Right, well, before you guys get, listen, every time Eric Adams does something, you have to stop and say, what is he getting out of this? <laughs> All right, you know that. You know that, okay? He probably just wants to move Madison Square Garden to cut down his commute, or he wants to put in there some bars so he can party afterwards. You know he's wild thotty. You see, he's being, he's, that's the reason he's That's okay the with reason. This. Eric Adams' whole objective in life is to cut the rope, to cut the line to get in the VIP, and the biggest fear we all have as New Yorkers is being in a club and turning around and he's behind you. Is that right? Yeah. <laughs> you could lose your job. <laughs> Well, it's great to have you here, and, I, and this organization uh, that you're supporting does mm -hmm. great things, right? Yeah, the shout Bronx out to the Bronx Defenders. Defenders. They help people, you know, they help people, uh, families that don't have money, immigrants, people who are arrested and might not have, might not know their rights. And I'm working on them, I'm hosting a gala, and it's important to me because when I got in legal trouble way back in the day, they helped me get out of that. So without them, there'd be no Jesus now. So now it's going full circle. Very nice. Jesus nice. The Bronx Defenders 25th Anniversary Gala, October 13th yeah. in New York. Thank you, Jesus. We'll be back with Yeah, Yeah, Yeah.